Hi guys, for today's video, I'm continuing to work on my Sicily haul. Last video, we focused in on the new blush and I compared it to a cream stick blush from Sicily. For today, we're gonna focus in on the Fito Four Ombres. This is the eyeshadow quartet in number two, Mystery. This is not a new product, but this is something I've been curious about for the longest time, and I haven't really heard much about it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to find out for myself. <laughs> I am a big fan of the single shadows from Sicily. I did get some new ones. <laughs> so you'll have a video with that soon, because these singles are really beautiful. So let's do a full face of Sicily, and let's see what this eyeshadow quartet is all about. Let's go ahead and get started. Hi, I'm Mo, which is short for Monique, and here on my channel, I love to test out, review, and share all things luxury beauty and skincare. I also do my best to remind you to use the things that you already have. And I am the infamous Tom Ford Tuesday channel, where every Tuesday I focus in on Tom Ford beauty. If you're into that stuff, guys, consider subscribing. And if you like today's video, please take a moment and give it a thumbs up. All right. Let's get into so it. So for this eyeshadow quartet, they have a variation of two of them. This one is in Mystery, which is the blue one. And the other one is in Dream, which is a really pretty pink and brown. And I will admit that the Dream one with those pinks and browns really spoke to me. But it sold out on Beautylish. So I love blue eyeshadow. I thought it was perfect. I said, let's just do it. And here we are. The Mystery includes a pearl ivory a gun metal gray, a denim blue, and a matte black. I will just show you the matte black. Doesn't the matte black look kind of like a gray too? Right there? Huh. We will see, right? The innovative gel to powder formula nourishes the skin with botanical extracts while blending smoothly for a perfect finish. So what makes this special is that it strengthens and protects delicate eye skin with green tea, white lily and camilla extracts smooth gel to powder texture glides easily across skin micronized pigments and mother of pearl offer perfect color intensity without settling into fine lines oh my gosh the new sicily blushes the packaging is quite similar to the quartet thickness is about the same the blush is just a little bit smaller Packaging feels sturdy, but it is plastic. And the packaging, you can also open it all the way, or you can adjust accordingly and it'll stay in place. Included in the box, you get a, I wanna say like a little tutorial. Here's what it looks like. So they give you a cute little tutorial in here if you just don't know what to do, but I hope I can inspire you. If you have this palette, pull it back out. Let's give her another go. Let's, let's see. And also let's see what this formulation is all about because those claims are kind of cool. You know. Starting with the lightest shade, I'm gonna apply that on the brow bone. I'm actually gonna go into this darkest shade here. Wow quite a bit on the brush. I'm gonna tap that. I'm gonna focus that on the outer eye and just kind of build up the intensity. Mm, okay. I like that I'm having the option to build up and it's not just like boom, black. Oh my gosh, what do I do now? Okay. I want to say that this black is a matte finish. I'm not getting any satin or sparkle. It's blending very nicely. And I like that it's building, but it's not too intense. It's very wearable and realistic, you know? Like that. This is a clean brush. This is the Sonia G Jumbo Blender. I'm just going to blend right here in between. So everything's super soft. 
Okay. Now let's go in. I'm actually going to go in with this shade first with my finger. I know. Ooh, such a pretty color. And I'm going to apply that. And then with the brush that I used on the black, just blend and marry the two by patting. And then of course, we're gonna go into this really pretty blue. Ooh yeah. And I'm gonna go over that a little and focus on the beginning portion of my eye. What a pretty blue. I like that this definitely, didn't this, wasn't this described as like a denim? Because it definitely looks like a denim blue, like a pair of jeans. So pretty. Let me retouch this shade. And then back into the blue. I'm going to go back into the black shade and just touch up a little tiny bit. I'm just blending upwards with whatever's left on the brush. But I like this black isn't too much too quick. You have the ability to build it or leave it super soft. Because blacks can be a little intimidating. Going back into that clean brush and just making sure everybody's soft and blended. Now, because I'm curious, I want to take just the blue shade with a fluffy brush and dust it all over the lid. Let's see if we can get like a little one and done out of this blue. So I'm just picking up some on, what is this? This is a Sonyji Blender Pro. So we've got some product. I'm just gonna do a soft little wash on the lid. Do you see how it's like it looks like it's a completely different shadow? Wow. So that's what the blue shade looks like, just blended all on its own. Hmm. Huh. Definitely you're getting a different intensity when you use your finger. And I'm seeing that the brush is, I don't know, it looks like a little bit darker. But it's still nicely pigmented and is blending so good. So now I'll take my finger and go into this shade and just tap that on this eye. See if we can match them up that way. Yeah. Wow, would you look at that? <laughs> Almost look like the same exact look and we literally just did totally different techniques. I am gonna just even everything out and go into this blue and put that on the inner portion of the lid. Yeah, I like it. I like the, I like it more with my finger. I'm getting more of that blue with my finger. See that really pretty denim blue? Just pat the two together. Very nice. Everything's gonna come together when I, I do my face makeup. That's what I love about doing eyeshadow first. It's like you get to really watch yourself transform. Let's work on the face, shall we? So I already applied the double tint sear and I let it sit for a moment. That allows it to get a little bit tacky. I'm now gonna go into my Sicily Blur Powder. This I personally like to use as a primer and like a pore filling powder. So I take my Shantikai Buffin Blur Brush and I just focus it right on the center portion of my face. And just kind of pat it in the skin in that area. And then a little in the smile lines. I like using this powder as a primer because it really just blurs everything when I put my foundation over top. Or you can wear it all on its own. It's up to you. 
that's how I like to use it. So I have the primer down and now my pores are kind of smoothed over. I'm going to go in with my Fito Tint Ultra Eclat foundation. Got to give this one a good shake. I'll do about a pump and a half-ish. I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do my little Sicily concealer cocktail. This cooling applicator is literally everything. But just make sure you clean it off when you're done. set with the Sicily Loose Powder. I like using the loose powder for my under eye and just a little bit on that T-zone there, but then I like to take the pressed powder with a fluffy brush. Love how my skin looks in Sicily, I really do. Do some bronzer. so funny I will buy all the new bronzers and I really like them but I always always come back to my Sicily it's just something that I know I can always go to it's perfect for my everyday and that's not to say that my other bronzers aren't perfect for everyday too but I just love this formula I love the natural look that it gives to my skin See, it's brought color and a little dimension back to my face, but it's very soft and natural, and that's really all I could ask for. Plus, the eyes are super dramatic. We don't want too much harshness and just too much going on on the face. Going into my blush, using the Wayne Goss number 14, which is my preferred blush brush. Especially for a color like this, you can get carried away really quick. This brush and this blush. Do you see how nice and soft and diffused? Like I said, I'm keeping the face a little bit more toned down because the eyes are so bold and beautiful. Now for highlighter, I'm actually gonna go in with another Sicily blush. Let me go get it. This is the Sicily blush with the White Lily. I like to just go into these portions here and just focus my brush because that gives off such a pretty highlight on the skin. So take my brush and just focus on that more glowy highlighted area. Oh, do you see that? It's so soft and pretty. And like I said, <laughs> I'm keeping the face soft so that the eyes can really be the star of the show today. So you see that beautiful glow when I just focus right in on the more highlighting portions of that blush. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna go into that blue shade on my tiny Wayne Goss number seven brush. I'm gonna apply that to the lower lash line. I'm not gonna bring it all the way. I'm gonna stop about. It's fair to say that's a little less than half. I'm just taking, this is a BK Beauty 207. It's like a fluffy pencil brush. I'm gonna smudge a little bit on the lower lash line. I am gonna use my Gucci eyeliner. I do have a Sicily one, but I am saving that for our next video. So I went ahead and applied my Sicily mascara. I did lashes. I also went in with a Clédipo lip liner, just a little bit. This is a red, but I went in very lightly. And then I topped it off with the Fito Twist in number 15 for the lips. I wanted to keep the skin very soft and skin-like and keep the focus on the eyes because I knew the eyes were gonna be a little bold. 
Let's put something on the inner corner, shall we, to finish up this look. Oh yeah. Now that I've used the palette, this is what it looks like. I think the formula on this is really nice. I really enjoy, like I like I mentioned, I really enjoy their singles, which seems to be quite a similar formula. I use this one a ton. <laughs> it's that baked, it's that baked formula, which I really enjoy. So the formulation on these is really nice. They're very pigmented. Um, as far as <laughs> now, so you saw that on one eye, I went in with the black, and then I went in with this one, and then I went in with this one. And then on the other eye, I went in with the blue, and then I went in with a little bit of this, and they kind of ended up looking the same. So there's that. I really like how the overall look came together. I can keep the eyes bold and dramatic, and the skin is just soft. And it works. I like it a lot. I feel like doing it like this makes it a lot more wearable, more realistically wearable. And you're not going to have a ton of face makeup and bright blush. And then you're going to combat with bright, bold eyes. I think this is a really pretty balance. But what do you guys think? How are you feeling about this little quartet from Sicily? Comment below. Let me know. I think it's fair to say that we are making really good progress getting through all of those products from the most recent Sicily haul. Don't forget to check out my Sicily playlist. I'll have it linked up in the cards. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and allowing me to share these beautiful Sicily products with you. Please take a moment to give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful guys. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.